welcome to Centro, everyone. I'm Yadira Nova Salcedo. Thank you so much for being with us. Get your dancing shoes ready for New England's biggest Latino holiday party. El Holgorio Navideño 2017 will be taking place on Saturday, December 16th at the Western Boston Waterfront Hotel. And this year, they are featuring legendary Latin music artist Paquito Guzman. This event supports UMass Boston's talented and gifted students program, better known as TAG. Here to tell us all about about this year's celebration and how you can be a part of it. With us this morning is TAG Association Treasurer Jose Lopez and the 2017 Palante Youth Award recipient Jadli Sanchez. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having us. You guys are getting ready. We are. Do, no, we are. But wait a minute. Do you guys have your dancing shoes ready? Not only are mine ready, but they're polished. <laughs> right? So we're going to be all set. How about you? Almost there. Almost, Almost there. Right. there. You must be really excited, though. We are going to talk to you about that. You're getting an award that's very special, Jadley. So why don't we start, Jose, telling our viewers a little bit about El Holgorio. Great. 28 years it's been going on yes, for. Yes, 28 years with an amazing mission. So our mission really is to support and serve Latino youth in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. We've done it very well for a long time. We work with teachers who are experts and students like Jadley. Yes. who go on to do amazing things in their careers. And so this event is going to help us fund that program and others. It's a worthy cause. Yes. It's a great artist. Um, it'll be a wonderful time for everyone to show up. Yes. Tell us a little bit more about TAG. And I do want to highlight for our viewers out there, I am very, very um, happy to say that I was part of the very first yeah. TAG class, Jadley. Did you hear that? The very first one, 1985. That was a long time ago. Don't date yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I can date myself because it's okay. I look okay. <laughs> but anyways, TAG is amazing what it did to me back then in 1985. And what can you tell our viewers out there about TAG? Sure. So the TAG program is hosted at UMass Boston. What they provide is direct academic support and cultural support for children who are identified as English language learners so that they can adjust more comfortably and also be very successful when they're entering their classrooms in the fall. Yes. We also provide uh, programming throughout the school year to again support students as they're making this transition and really mastering the English language. And again, these are talented and gifted students. It is Absolutely. a very special program out there. There are a lot of young Latino uh, kids out there that are very talented. You are one of them, yeah. sadly. <laughs> what can you tell us being part of the attack uh, program um, well I could say that when you have a program that is academic and you have students that want to come back every single year then there's something good about the program and that was my case since I first came here mm -hmm. you know the language barrier but I started at TAG and TAG made me understand that it was okay to embrace my culture and it was okay to embrace my intellect yes. and it was okay to break the stereotypes you know yes. when you first get here it is a culture shock yeah. and then you come into this place where you have a family but you're also getting ready for your following year so you have a sense of what to expect mm -hmm. in the school year. So tell us a little bit about you. You say, you know, to embrace your culture. You came here. You're, you're from the Dominican Republic. So am I. <laughs> and you're also from a very small town in the Dominican Republic, Bani, which is where I'm from as well. And we were just talking off camera, which is a really funny thing. Uh, we want to tell our viewers this, that <laughs> I came here when I was eight, and you got here when you were eight. Yes. <laughs> so can we say that you're totally copying me, uh, Jadley? Yes. <laughs> Maybe I'll be... <laughs> TV soon too. <laughs> yes, that would be wonderful. So first of all, I do want to say you are going to be getting a very special award. How do you feel about getting the Palante Award? Well, I feel... Palante very... means forward, <laughs> by the way, for our viewers out there. Yes. Um, well, I feel very honored. I feel like this is a very important award to me because I can say that being an immigrant doesn't have to define or stereotypes on immigrants. So it doesn't have to define who I am or my background what I have been through doesn't have to define who I am. The obstacles that I've been through don't have to define who I am. You know, it means that I can actually go forward despite everything that have I've been through. Yes, yes. Okay, let's get ready, Jose. Let's yes. talk about the whole Gorio now. What can people expect when they go to this big party? Well, they can expect you dancing. Oh, right? oh really? <laughs> That's what they can expect. No, let me tell you what they can expect. They're going to walk into a great venue. It's a beautiful venue. It's at the Western Waterfront. Um, everyone knows that when you go there, you're going to have a good time. Yes. When they go inside, we're going to have first-rate music. We have Paquito Guzman, who's a family favorite a legend, of mine. A living Cinco legend. Noches. Yes. I may have been listening to it all week. Um, he's going to be performing with a great band. Yes. In addition, we're going to have Jorge Arce, who is a local artist that provides wonderful traditional mm -hmm. music. Mm -hmm. He'll be there performing with his crew, and you'll get a full-plated uh, dinner. 
at the Western Waterfront. Thank you Absolutely. so much, for both of you, for coming by. No, thank, thank you. We'll see you next week. Excellent. <laughs> okay. For more information on the Holgorio Navideño 2017, you can call them at 617-564-0787. You can also get a direct link to their website and their social media pages visiting us online at cbsboston.com slash centro. And like every week, we want to remind you that you can get more information on today's show and our past shows. You can watch both the English and the Spanish versions of Centro on our website if you have time. Visit us right now. If not, come back later for more of Centro. We also want you to connect with us online, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter and Instagram. I'm Yadira Nova Salcedo, inviting you to step forward to a better you. See you next time.